Hey friends, Pastor Bill Walden here with Build Up the Church. That's my teaching ministry. You can visit my website if you'd like. I have a lot of teaching notes on my website, uh, builduptochurch.com. Also have uh, teaching notes in Spanish, and also my wife has teaching notes uh, for ladies' small groups. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, go visit us at builduptochurch.com. Today's January 23rd, um, 2024. Short devotional tonight. Amazing, though. It says in Matthew 15, 29 to 31, Jesus departed from there, skirted the Sea of Galilee, and went up on the mountain and sat down there. Then great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, blind, mute, maimed, and many others, and they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. So the multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed made whole, the lame walking, the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of heaven. Jesus had just left the coast from in the Tyre and Sidon area. He's back in his region near the Sea of Galilee. Jesus knew where to find people. And he always loved people and he always cared for people. And he was always ready to serve them. It says he went near the Sea of Galilee, went up on a mountain and sat down there. Jesus as God and yet as fully man, again, is, is looking for a time and a place to rest, to pray, to be refreshed. He's, he's tired. Uh, the crowds are nonstop. Um, the travel. He has no permanent home. I'm sure a lot of camping out under the stars. It's, it's a physically difficult life. But my point is, he goes to the mountain, sits down there, and the multitudes came to him. If you read the rest of the chapter, you'll see that Jesus does another miracle of feeding, how many is it, 4,000? Besides women and children. It says that Jesus had compassion on them. If he sends them away, they're not going to have any immediate food available. So suffice it to say this, they were out... In a, in a deserted area, in a mountain area. But this is what really caught my attention. The multitudes, the great multitudes came to him. They found him. They went looking. They had their loved ones who needed physical healings and all kinds of healings. And they believed that Jesus could heal their loved ones, but they went and they looked for him. And they didn't just go down the street or across the street or down a few blocks or something like that. They went from the dwelling areas, the, the towns and the little cities, the villages. And they went and they heard he was there and they went and they found him. And their faith was rewarded. I believe that God can still heal people physically. He's going to heal all of his children physically one day when we are in his presence in heaven he might heal us now but he'll certainly heal us then but he doesn't just heal people physically he heals us emotionally psychologically spiritually in our behavior in our worldview in our memories in our regrets in all of these ways he heals us but once again matthew chapter 15 verse 30 then great multitudes came to him. They went looking for Jesus. They didn't stay home and say, you know, if, if he loved us, he'd come find us. They didn't stay home and said, you know, um, it's just too hard. It's too difficult. Or I don't understand why this has to happen. There was no excuses made. There was no, uh, at least for the people that went, there was no, they weren't crying victim, victim. They weren't crying foul. They weren't crying, this isn't fair. They went from their homes and they went looking for Jesus. So this is an encouraging word to those of us who are Christ followers and those who are not yet Christ followers. If you want to find Jesus, go look for him. Now, of course, we don't look for him physically. The Bible tells us he dwells in heaven right now. But the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, roams the earth looking for people and ready to receive people who are looking for Jesus ready to work in the life. These people were desperate and they put forth the effort. 
and their faith was rewarded. So I want to encourage you, whatever it is that you have to do to connect with God, to connect with Jesus Christ, to connect with the Spirit of God, go find him. Go find Jesus. Don't make excuses. Don't say, I went to church before, it didn't work out. There's bad things that happen in church and out of church, all over the place. I know I'm a pastor. I see that stuff. I hear the stories. But I never hear anybody say, you know, Jesus failed me. I've never heard anybody say that. Jesus has failed me. I've never heard that. People fail. Churches fail. All that, I understand. But these people were desperate. They were needy. They were committed. And they went and they found him. So a word of encouragement to you. If you're a person of faith in Jesus Christ, not just a person of faith, not just a spiritual person, but you know, we're talking about faith in Jesus Christ, the Jesus Christ of the Bible, and you need something, go find him. Get up a little earlier, stay up a little later. Put aside some recreation, put aside some other things. Go find him. Read your Bible. Talk to other Christ followers. Go visit a church, listen to a sermon, go online and, and listen to a sermon. I invite you to listen to some of my sermons. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, uh, Pastor Bill Walden, Build Up the Church. F go find Jesus. These people did, and their, and their faith was rewarded. Even if it doesn't turn out the way you hope it will, your faith will still be rewarded because you'll meet him one way or the other. So thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.